Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Fee with this week's WordPress tip video. And today I'm going to show you how to add an image to your WordPress sidebar. Um, and the reason why I've chosen to record a video on this is um, I briefly met somebody through Twitter that was asking this exact question, which is how do I add a JPEG image or any um, image really to my WordPress sidebar? Um, on my web for my website and typically um, you add content to your sidebars through the way of widgets and um, as you can see I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard right here um, widgets can be found under the appearance menu option um, and there should be a widget selection there so I'm already on my widgets page and You'll, depending on your theme that you're using for your WordPress website, you'll see information over here of the various sections of your web your website um, on where you can add widgets. So my particular theme, I've got a primary sidebar section here. This is just going to be where um, any widgets I add here will be, will be displayed on my full width sidebar. And then I can also add widgets to my footer. Um, and there's th four columns to my footer. Um, and so if I added any of these widgets to these, these sections, those would show up in my footer, um, depending on where I placed it. Now your um, theme may display different information on this side. You may have main sidebar, sub sidebar, um, right sidebar, left sidebar, things of that nature, or just general or something like that. Um, I encourage you to play around with this because then you can add widgets to different sections and get a feel for where these sections are on your actual website. So um, really quick, not to go too much into depth just on a widgets, um, just on what widgets are and, and sidebars, etc. I just wanted to show this to you so that you get an idea of what I'm talking about when I show you how to add the actual image to your sidebar. So for my theme, I've got a primary section here. And as you can see, I've got four widgets added to my primary sidebar section. I've got um, a recent posts widget that I've entitled recently added videos. I've got a recent comments widget, an archives widget that I've renamed video archives. And then I've got a widget where um, visitors can subscribe or stay connected to all of my social media um, networks. So I'm going to go to my actual web page and show you exactly where when I add those widgets where they're placed on my website. So here's the main website that you guys are probably looking at right now. And um, here's the primary sidebar, which is this section that's entitled here. And as you can see, here's my recent posts, here's my recent comments widget, there's my video archives widget, and then here's the social media widget where people can um, stay up to date on um, everything that's going on with um, this website or the niche mom. <coughs> so just to give you an idea of where this information is actually being displayed on my website. Um, now let's say I want to add an image and it pro I'll probably just add it down below right here um, and make that image clickable so that when someone comes and visits the site they can click on that image and it'll take them to another, another web page. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to do it without having to know HTML. Because typically what you need to do in order to add an image is use the text widget, and this is where you would add HTML code to add your image and make it clickable. But you don't necessarily need to know HTML, and I'm going to show you a, a trick here um, on how to get around that. And this is something I do often. I'm, I'm actually trying to learn HTML and understand the, the basics of it, but for those of you that don't really care to learn HTML, this is a great way to get around it. Um, if you open up a new window and log into your WordPress dashboard, so you have two windows into your WordPress dashboard open, um, on the second window, I'm going to have what, what you can do is go to your pages and click on Add New as though you're going to add a new page to your website. You're not really going to add a new page, I'm just showing you a trick here. <coughs> And in a sense, this will kind of show you how to add an image to your page as well. So kind of killing two birds with one stone, I guess. Um, on the page, on the add new page, 
um, you'll notice a button right here to add media. This is where you can add images and videos. So click on that button and it'll bring up this window. There's various ways you can add media to your website. I'm going to show you how to add um, an image from your computer, to upload an image from your computer. So make sure you're on the From Computer tab. Click on Select Files. And I'm just going to select an image, just a random image here, um, to add. And I'm a, I am on a Mac, so if you're on a Windows system, this might look a little bit different, but it's the general same steps that you're going to be using. So I, I chose an image, and then it brings up the information about this image. Here's the link URL to your image. Um, here's the title of the image, all of that. Here are the sizes. Um, now, typically, if your image is larger than 300 by 300, which is, I believe, the standard sidebar width, you're going to want to choose a size that's smaller because otherwise it's going to run off the side of your page. Um, the full size of this image is a little bit too big, so um, I have the medium size selected here so that it'll, it'll look correct in my sidebar. Go ahead and click on Use This Image and it'll insert that image into your editor. Um, now obviously this image is just in, in, all, in all good fun. I am a CSU Rams alumni. Um, not really a big fan of C the CU Buffalo, so if you are a CU Buffs, I do apologize for poking a little bit of fun, um, but again, it's all in good fun, and this is just to be used in, as an example. So I've got the image inserted. Now I want to link it to a, an external website. This button right here, Insert Edit Link, um, make sure you, first of all, make sure you've highlighted your image, and then click on that button to add a link. You're going to make the image clickable so that when someone clicks on it, they go to another web page. It'll bring up this window and it'll show the URL to your actual image. You just want to go ahead and delete that. And then type in what you want the image to link to. So I'm going to link this image to the nichemom.com, which is my personal internet marketing blog. Um, and it's usually a good idea to check this button to open the link in a new window or tab. So that way when someone clicks on your image, it doesn't um, open the, the new website within the same window. Um, people will still have access to your website. It'll just open it up in a new window. And then click on Update. So now this image should be clickable. Go over here and, make and, and click on your HTML tab, and you'll see the HTML code behind what we've just done. What you can do is highlight that HTML code copy it, control C or command C, depending on whether you're on a Windows or a Mac system, copy that, and then go back to the page that you where you were on your widgets, and here's, your, here's my text widget. I'm gonna take that and drag it into my primary sidebar, and then in this window, I'm going to paste that HTML code that I just copied um, from the other page where I was adding a new page and adding the image. Um, and then you can give it a title if you want. I'm just going to put example sidebar image. Um, click on save. Okay. Now if I go to my website and I refresh it, we should see the image in my sidebar. And then if I click on that image, it'll take it, it'll take us to the nichemom.com. All right. So that's a very simple example of how to add an image to your web, your WordPress-based website and then make it clickable. And then to take it even further, how to add it to your sidebar without really needing to know HTML. Um, this is just, you know, something that I, I do often if I if I you know, don't really know the HTML code to use. Um, I'll go and act like I'm adding a new page and do everything through the visual um, editor. And then once I've got that down, I'll click on the HTML tab, tab, copy the HTML code, and add it to my text widget so that it shows up properly. Um, I hope this wasn't too confusing. Um, if you have any questions about this, 
feel free to comment below the video or um, shoot me an email at info at the nichemom.com. I'd be more than happy to help you personally if it's something really quick. Um, otherwise, I hope that um, I hope that this does help you out, and I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you so much. Bye.